More trouble for that popular travel agency, Legendary Journeys. The Sarasota company abruptly shut its doors months ago, leaving customers without their money. The owner promised to pay everybody back for the trips. By the end of the year, that didn't happen. That's when they knew they'd better call Banking. Investigator Shannon Banking joining me now to talk a little bit more about it. And this is not good news for those people wanting to see their money. It's not the best news, Keith. And not only is he has he not paid everyone back, but now he's using that B word of bankruptcy. bankruptcy. And no one could find the filing, though, and that worried customers even more. Well, today I discovered that this filing is a state bankruptcy, essentially, and it's called Assignment for Benefits of Creditors. Martha Addison and her girlfriends planned the trip of a lifetime. This was yeah. like a 21 day trip. We were flying from Tampa to Dubai. Then Sarasota based Legendary Journeys abruptly closed its doors and the trip was off. She was devastated but encouraged when she saw owner Al Ferguson in November promise a refund by the end of the year. And you saw the owner go on TV yes. and say everybody's going to get their money yes. back. Have you gotten anything? No. Not at all. And I think what upset me even more so was that we were not notified by the company. In fact, the only details Martha got was from watching our Better Call Banking report. I actually haven't heard from the company until the beginning of this year. And I got an email again stating they were in bankruptcy, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. But Does no. bankruptcy seem like an easy way out? You know, it may be easy for him, but it's not easy for me. So far, the only people to get refunds are those who paid with credit cards. Do you regret paying with a check? You know, I do. And uh, again, they encourage that. I mean, they give you a little $100 back, but that's a lesson learned. I'll never do it again. I asked Ferguson about that one in November. Now that this happens, they wonder, did you know all along you were going to close and that's why you wanted the cash? Well, I'm sure you don't mean that that question. Uh, I would say uh, that I've operated for more than 20 years, and that's been a policy that I've done for more than 20 years. Now he's done talking and sent me this text saying things are now handled through the legal process of attorneys and accountants and the court bankruptcy system. I spoke with Ferguson's attorney, David Steen, and he tells me that this case is different than traditional bankruptcy cases because in this case he says there are assets, in this case real estate. When those assets are sold, creditors should get paid. In should. part, you know, in pieces <laughs> too. But what about the complaints, you know, to the Attorney General's office? You know, a lot of people felt like they were duped over this, but was there any kind of fraud, do we know? That's something that the Attorney General's office is investigating. I just um, received an email from them a little while ago. They have 186 complaints, and they tell me that there's an active criminal investigation. That, though, is separate from this court action, and this is important. If you are owed money, you need to file a proof of claim by May 15th, and you should receive something in the mail. But if not, we are going to put all that information, everything you need to know on WFLA.com. So check there. So only three or four months before you got to get on that list. Yeah, you got to get on it if you have any chance at all. All right, thanks, Shannon. Mm -hmm. And if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Benkin. The telephone number on your screen, 1-855-BENKIN.